Right then, so I've come along the drove. I'll be going that way in a minute. Here we have uh, the path I come to, through usually. There's tiny, there's some peacock slides, and look at these cows, and they're staring. I wouldn't want to walk through any of these. No way. They ain't the big longhorn type. No, I wouldn't feel happy if I'd bumped into these today. They both stared at me. But it's a lovely scene with the cows. I do like cows. That's a big herd again. I've got this risk in a minute. I have got risks. I was just thinking about that weird twinge I had. I was just thinking I might have a bit of antiacid. That can sometimes. I've got an antiacid pill, I think, in my bag. I might not. I might have forgot to top my bag for a safe get up. Basically, because I haven't been out properly for two weeks. Uh, three weeks. I've, I've done little local walks. But normally I always keep my little first aid kit, especially aspirin. And um, I usually always go on an anti-acid, but I might have I might have used that as well. I have got a throaty sweet, a strepsil. I haven't had it for a bit now. It's sort of eased up because my walk at the moment is less stressful. The cows now, I think they've just been milked and they're moving back up that way. The sound is moving away. So hopefully that big herd that I sometimes have to hopefully avoid is in a field in a very soon. Now this is the West Mendip Way everyone. Very, very ancient way. Used by people for hundreds of years. And uh, I haven't been able to do this walk because of cows. Now it's the 10th of December 2021. Uh, and because the this global warming thing and all the grass is still growing, look at it. Looks like a bloody well kept lawn, doesn't it? It saves the farmers if they can keep them out. I don't know if they brought them in during the storms, but enough making a lot of noise. This, this herd up here have been roaring and mooing. I don't know if there's a way round them yet. If I have to. I don't know. I've come this way, but I really want, I really love this walk. And cows have been a problem for me now for several years here. And they, and they have a bull, you know, I mean, they don't even warn you about the bull either. And calves, quite a lot of the time. Now hear that, guys, but you, you should be able to pick that mooing up, which is very close to where I'm going. I, mean, I might have to climb over a gate and go... I might have to do like a detour yet. It's getting very windy now. It's going on for almost two, by the way. It's dark at four. I need to get the next stages of the walks done. See, the sun is sinking. Can we see Glastonbury? Yes, we'll stop here. We just do Glastonbury. I'll just zoom in. We just see Glastonbury over there in the distance. There it is. On the green hill far away. There we are. That's Glastonbury. The thing is, I've got the camera set up all right at the moment. I don't really want to go on to photos yet. Because it won't take them. It'll start playing up again. I've actually got the lens and the shutter speed sorted. Now, I've got to go down here now. Um, the cows are in this field, but they look like they sound like they've moved away. I don't really want them to spot me either. You see, we're coming up to a lovely view of the Mendip Hills. A lovely view of Axbridge and Cheddar. See, they're mooing. They're all over there. So we should be able to avoid them. If this doesn't make too much noise. There we are. It does make a noise. 
boys. I bet they heard that. There's one cow up there. And it, where is it? That one there has been mooing for ages and ages. Yes, it's got a calf as well. The calf is feeding. Now hopefully, if not, I'll have to jump out, come back and get over this fence. Um, I've got to go around a corner here. I just hope these cows don't... There's another gate I can get over here if I have to. But there's lots of cows up there and there's a cow there. He spotted me. These three are doing a lot of mooing. They're not, they're, they've, they've, they've all spotted me now, the mooers. Um, hopefully I can get down the bottom. If not, I've got to get over a gate very fast. I'm not far away from the gate I've got to get into actually. But uh, they've spotted me and they're mooing at me. I don't know if it's coming off, but up there, see those three there? They're mooing at me, but there's a gate, the gate isn't far away. The gate isn't far away, but if I have to, I can escape in through here, look. If they start running down the hill towards me now, I've still got a way to get out up there. But the sign tells me, down there is the gate. Will I make it, folks? Will they start moving? At the moment, they're standing dead still. They're standing dead still and they're staring. I'm not gonna look at them, but I've got to get to that gate before they, I mean, they might break into a run, you see, I mean, you can't tell, can you? They're protecting their calves. <sighs> what with my chest being strange? I don't particularly want to have to run. I'm sort of half keeping an eye on you. So I'm just passing through, Moomoo's, don't worry. I'm not dangerous and I won't hurt you. You stay there. Let me get through that gate. Oh! It's very muddy here. I mean, if that cow wanted to, I'm mean, going to the size of it. They've been doing a lot of mooing, but you see, the thing is, they're protecting the calves. It's all right. Okay, everyone. I don't want to walk into that. No way. They've been down here, look. Uh, this isn't the end of it. Bye-bye then. Bye-bye, Mumud. Bye-bye.